Did you know that as well as acoustic drums and bass, session players here in Logic Pro for iPad 2 are amazing for electronic sounds and synth sounds as well? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use them. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome back to Logic Pro for iPad 2. Let's dive in. Here we are in Logic Pro for iPad. In a previous video, which you can find up there or in the description if you want to catch up, I showed you how to use the electronic drummers as opposed to the acoustic drummers to create some more kind of modern sounds here in Logic Pro. But what if you then want to add some electronic bass sounds? Well, it's really simple. Let's show you how. First, we're going to tap on the plus button here in the top left corner. Make sure that this session player is set to bass play and then tap on the button in the middle there. This is going to add a bass player. Now, by default, you're going to get one of the electric bass sounds. Not really what we're going for, but let's take a listen to what it sounds like out of the gate. I mean, not bad at all, but not the kind of vibe we're going for. How do we change it? We tap on this button here to change the type of bass player. Now, for electronic basses, I recommend the Indie Disco. That kind of gets you the right sort of patterns for an electronic or a synth bass sound. You can experiment with others, including the Slap or the R&B. Let's start with the Indie Disco, though, by tapping on that one. And now if we tap off and go back to the start, our track sounds like this. A definite improvement on our bass sound, but it doesn't stop there because we don't have to use the default bass sounds. We can change them too. Here's how. In the bottom left corner, tap on the browser button here. Now I'm already in instrument patches, but I'll go back just in case you're not there. Tap on the instrument patches here in your browser. And here are all of the different bass sounds that we can use, but we can filter these to get to our electronic bass sounds. To do that, we're going to tap firstly on bass as our overall one and then under here you've got a couple of options here you can do synth bass or electronic bass for the kind of sounds we want let's start with electronic bass by tapping on that one and you can see we've got a heap of different bass sounds to explore in here if you want to try one of these so let's say we want to try this big saw bass we can tap on the preview button that's pretty cool we might be trying that one boxy synth bass so you've got different kinds of bass sounds and you can try any of these and see which one's gonna work with your track. I like the look of this big saw bass. So to move it over to our track, all we need to do is with the replace mode on is tap on it and it's going to immediately, wait, we've got to tap off, don't we? There you go, we've got to tap off and tap on there. So big saw bass is there. If you don't like using the replace mode, all you need to do is say tap and hold and drag and drop that onto the track and that's gonna change it up. We'll put the replace back on and we'll go with this one here, the big saw bass. And uh, let's take a listen to what it sounds like. That sounds more like the sort of sound we want. So let's close the browser for now and start customizing our bass sound. Now I've covered all of these options in the previous bass video. So you can check that out if you wanna know all of them, but I'm just gonna change a few things here. Primarily, did you hear that that bass sounded a bit low? We wanna bring this one up. So what we can do is actually drag the lowest note up and I'm gonna bring it up an entire octave and see what's happening up the top there. As I bring this up to E2, it's bringing the bass sounds up. Let's take a listen. That's pretty cool. So that's the quickest and easiest way to bring your bass higher or lower if you want to do that. The other thing is I want to use some more notes here. So we're going to go with, say, the more notes option here. So it's actually going to move it around and create a bit more of a funky electronic kind of sound here. The phrasing I like is short. So when you're using a synth bass or an electronic bass, a long phrasing can sound a bit weird. Let's show you that. Sometimes it'll work, but sometimes it's a bit strange. So we'll work for some types of tracks, but for this one, we would like that short phrasing. The fill here, we're not gonna make it too complex and we don't want it to fill too often. You generally want your swing to be completely off all the way down. So make sure that there's no swing on your track. Under the details tab here, generally you don't want a whole lot in the way of dead notes because a synth bass or an electronic bass is not really gonna be able to use those. And the same goes for slides. These are great for your acoustic or your electric bass 
sounds, but not so great for electronic bass. So let's make those changes and uh, take a listen to what we have now. I think we've made it worse, haven't we? Yeah, so now we can change some other things around. Let's bring the complexity up and get some more bass hits on there because I want something that's going to match these drums a little better. Let's play. Not bad. So that is pretty good. The one final thing that I will show you here with this one before we try a more synth bass sound is in the follow options here. We can actually tap this one and it's following the chords track at the moment. We can also ask it to follow the drums. So we've got these flashback drums. You can either follow a specific drum, the kick drum in this for instance, or just the whole kit. And just following the whole drums can actually work really well to make it really sync in with our electronic drum sound. Let's take a listen. Yeah, the 80s is here again. I love that it's called modern 80s, by the way. Oxymoron. Anyway, let's uh, let's change this back because I think that's actually using too many notes. If we go back to the root only, but we keep it kind of complex, we're probably going to get a bit more of a groove to this one. I like that one. Very cool. Let's dive in and check out some synth bass sounds. To do this, we use the same process again. Tap on your browser in the bottom left, and this time we're going to turn off electronic by tapping on the X there. My mouse doesn't work great. And tap on synth. And now we've got a whole bunch of other types of basses that are going to be included in here. So you can experiment with these, like you've got other things you can do here. So we can make this uh, electronic music, and it's going to give you sort of subsections of all of these different different ones. What's something really weird and out there? What's the classic funk boogie bass? That one's pretty good. Or the edgy synth bass? A little bit too much. Funk boogie. This could work all well on this one. So we'll tap in the middle there and it's changed it to our funk boogie bass. Now it's going to keep all the other options exactly the same. So it's just changed that sound. Let's take a listen. I really like that. I think that's going to work well. And you can change the type of player as well. So if you want to experiment with different players, as I mentioned before, we can tap here on the Indie Disco. Now make sure you turn the change patch off or it will change the bass sound as well. But if we want to go to say the Disco Slap, you can see here it's done something very different and uh, quite intense. So let's see what this has done with our bass sound. We've now got ourselves more of like a, I don't know, what would you call that? Almost like an 8-bit video game sound there. So there's heaps of options in here to explore. You can use any sounds you like in here. You can also use this for your keyboards as well as your bass. And I show that in other videos that you can find linked right there right now and down in the description. I hope you find this one useful and I'll see you next time.